We now have the results of a state legislature report on the East Palestine trail derailment. derailment. One headline, it contains a page of recommendations to make Ohio's railways safer. Neil Fisher has that story. Tonight, more than seven months after a train carrying hazardous materials derailed in East Palestine, the Select Committee on Rail Safety provided its final report. My hope is that the outcome will be that everything that we do, uh, we're creating a safer environment for the people in the state of Ohio. The 10 member committee, including Ohio Senate Minority Leader Nikki Antonio, were tasked with learning more about the fiery crash in Columbiana County, determining how the General Assembly can help residents recover and how to respond in the future. What we're trying to do is look at what happened and do everything that we can to prevent an incident like this from happening again. The result of their months long hearings are nine recommendations, including encouraging the passage of the Railway Safety Act of 2023 in Congress, funding a report on agriculture in the region and improving communication. We have to make sure first responders um, have a better idea of what is on a train and that they can quickly access that information. That's part of our recommendations. The next step for safer railroads would be the passage of the Railway Safety Act of 2023. It requires a minimum of two person crews on board certain freight trains, requires rail companies to inform local communities about the hazardous material materials on board trains and requires companies to comply with train length and weight specifications. Russ, I understand that report is 192 pages long, so a lot of stuff in there. Indeed. All right, Neil Fisher, thank you.